Oh yeah, I remember this place. <laughs> yeah, but also we mentioned uh, Beyond Good and Evil, and that's supposedly supposed to have a sequel for a while. Well, right? <laughs> but that yeah. Well, they had did. a trailer for it some time ago. They had a trailer, and then they leaked. There, there was this like leaked gameplay footage. Um, that uh, you know showed her like running, you know, the main character running through like a city, avoiding like you know troops and stuff. Um, it, it, it was a big, it was a big difference from um, from the original. Yeah, from the original because you know the original had like animals and stuff like this, and this was like Animal real people in like SWAT animals. gear, like chasing her. Yeah. And you know, it, it was kind of weird, but at the same time, I'm like. I would play that game. <laughs> um, it, it looked like a lot of parkour too, which was which was weird. It looked kind of like Mirror's Edge. Yeah, um, lost which which character was like similar. Yeah, yeah, and which by the way is getting the sequel, which I am more than excited about. Have you played the original one? Uh, yeah, I haven't. So it's, it's I'm I'm planning to rent it though. So yeah, it, it can be kind of frustrating. Um, like it it has pretty good saving. It's just follow me. Follow me if you want to. No, I know I know the way to this part. So. Oh god. Wrong thing. There we go. Um But yeah, uh I would love for some sort of sequel. I don't care what it is or how it's presented. If they can explain you know humans <laughs> instead of like animal creatures. I would I'm all for that. Oh shoot, there I got it. It's gonna alert them. We'll have him run away. Um, yeah. But even like but there's other games that we really want sequels for, like well ones that well, one especially oh, thinking that we would love a sequel to, but it wouldn't make sense to be a sequel, and even the creators kinda saw that that it wouldn't make sense to have a sequel, but they were planning a spiritual successor, Eternal Darkness. Uh, wait, they're coming for us. We gotta take oh. them out. They're gonna make other lights in the vault. Um, they, um, they were planning the spiritual successor, uh, Shadow of the Eternals. Yeah. But it just didn't it happen just didn't with happen. Kickstarter. And, I mean, even that game was just. It's hard to even just bring that back again. I mean, I, while I'd be excited for like a spiritual successor, it'd be hard to. Be that game again without being just you know another carbon copy right co just, copy of it yeah um, like, which and, and honestly I like the first game so much that I wouldn't yeah. entirely not I I really wouldn't mind that like yeah I, I mean if it was just like the same game released again it would be like okay fine but I guess they're done yes but, but, but but if it was like similar in a way that it functioned but it, you know kind of first a different we got the turrets here. They can die in this. Yeah. So, but I, I'm just, I'm just thinking that if like it, if it didn't work, it wouldn't work or so. And just the, the one of the one of the standout features of the game was the sa sanity effect or so. It would screw with the player when the when your character starts to go insane, right, right. the sanity near starts to drop. You would start to freak out because you'd think the game glitched or it was a demo yeah, or like, like the power, on, power went out or it mutes itself and the wall and even the even the drive the character and saying the, the walls start to bleed and uh, shoot him shoot him okay there you go um, so you don't want him to kill the president and the walls would start to bleed all of a sudden your head might fall off and you might pick it up and uh, start reciting Hamlet. And, or just even weirder things, your body starts start, starts falling. Oh yeah, off. falling apart. Your head yeah. falls off. And, <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, good and time. even and it was even funny that even sometimes in the game itself, it was me meant to drive the character insane. Where it seemed like a regular flashback of like part of the story, like would flash to, like yeah. you were you were reading a book or so. Your your main character that start out with is reading a book and finding out the history of these characters, but. Um, and then it flashes back to her with like her seeing her uh, dead uh, grandfather. Yeah. And and then I would flash back to the character you were playing, and they would be freaking out, it's like this isn't happening. It's like yeah. so, it's like kind of screws with. It's like the it's like who who's who's dreaming this? Like, yeah. What is what is going on? Yeah. Elvis, he'll be able to protect the president. And that and it's just to recapture that again. I feel like it'd just be. I mean, they could, could do it or so, but I feel like if they. I feel like they might just um, try to uh, 
try to make it like just like that, where in the sense they wouldn't uh, update in any way. They try to, if it isn't broke, don't fix. Yeah, it's right. not it's not broke, don't fix it or so. And I feel like with playing that game in now in today's standards, it's kind of tough. Yeah, like like it, it it was very niche. Like yeah. it was a survival horror horror game with magic elements. Like that's yeah. not a very common thing. Yeah. And you know, and the, the insanity effect by themselves, like, was like kind of like a meta game. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it it just like screwed with you, and you liked yeah. it. Like there was like flies on the screen and stuff. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I would definitely not mind doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but also, it's like in the style of the game, besides the magic or so, there wasn't like a lot of boss. There was like there was like one boss fight sort of towards the end where you used the ma had to heavily use the magic and then there was of course the bo final boss fight at the end where it did it require I think it required some magic use but mostly it required Wh which one the main boss yeah the main boss when you fought uh, the ma main I forget his name um, yeah, uh, Pius yeah. when you fought, fought when you fought Pius at the end you um, it was mostly just combat or so and that and that was the one thing about the combat is like where a lot of um, a lot of the uh, like as we mentioned with the uh, remake of uh, Resident Evil, it was just a, sort of an auto aim. Yeah. But in this, you you use melee weapons. You use some guns too, or so yeah. like ranged weapons. But you would pick a body part to aim for, sort of like a and Fallout you, thing. Yeah, but, and you yeah, could, but, yeah, and you could do it for both the. But you could try to chop off the head, yeah. try to chop off the uh, the arm or the torso, or hit hit the torso or so. And depending on certain. Uh, Enemies, yeah. Certain enemies or so, it's like a like, headshot didn't always kill them. Yeah, yeah. like, or they, be, or like you'd have like the certain versions, and it, certain versions like these red zombies that you ch chop off their head and they'll regrow it if you don't kill kill the body and finish it off. Mm -hmm. And that was another feature of it. They um, they had three different ways to play it with three different uh, ancient ancient evil enemies to resurrect because you get a choice with your the first character you read about who chooses the path of destruction for this whole thing who what what uh, ancient he chooses to worship and try to bring back or so mm -hmm. basically determines it right right like and, and that was pretty cool like just you know small small, small changes between each um, ancient yeah. and you know what became available to you first um, I kind of, I kind of I forget which one it was, like... Uh, oh well, it doesn't screw us up, but it just it means more guys. And... Um... Yeah. No big deal. No. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, no, I, I played through the entire game, and then it, then it had a turn, like, end, ending based off of, um... Based off of all that, so... Yeah. Oh, one thing I can say about where dip, slight differences, I mean, besides the enemy types that were slightly different depending on, you know, like green, green enemies took away more sanity than, than health, and red ones did more damage to your health, mm -hmm. blue ones took away your magic right, and all right, that right. stuff. But also, like, one subtle difference I remember is, like, like I guess my my ideal one, like, if they made a movie of it, what enemy should he pick, should the uh, highest pick, and my choice would, of course, would have been uh, the green one. Yeah, the Sanity one because, because, because yeah, it was just because different. it was a game about sanity, but also small little thing like the other boss I mentioned besides the uh, besides the final boss, there was a, a sort of guardian that you had to fight, and this guardian was slightly different in the in the sense that like the one small thing when you introduce another character to this boss, you can't this person cannot defeat him, and the person gets killed by the boss immediately, and that's what ends their story, and then you go right, on another right. character, and eventually the character is able to destroy right. it. Like, yeah. But it, the one different thing is with the green one, is that the green one, where everyone else would just take their leg and stomp the person right. into and a bloody them. mess, and just smash them and be done with it. The other one lifted them up uh, t telekinetically, and then had their head explode. <laughs> right. Just a little bit of difference with that. Thought just that little bit of emphasis on, you know, sanity or so, going right for the head or so, was just uh, an ideal way to, you know, you know, really stood out more of all of it. But it was still, yeah. either way you play it, it's real Yeah, and, and, and the game is great. And I, I love, like, using, like, all the power-ups and stuff. You gotta get in your own. Oh, dude, not me. <laughs> Watch one, watch the other. This one. Don't. Oh, did you shot him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Guess it doesn't matter. Put a bullet in his head. Yeah, don't be served it. Yeah. Don't shoot these guys. Okay. 
you still need for that. <laughs> Alright, so all I need to do is me have Elvis and me, uh, and some yeah. yeah, so, so yeah, and you mentioned, uh, Jet Force Gemini, you would love a sequel to that, I, too, but... I, I don't know why I love that game so much, it's just, it, it, it doesn't make sense why I love that game so much. <laughs> I think some of the, I think it was sort of ahead of its time in a way, but... It, 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 I, it was, it, it was... Like, as weird as it sounds, like, it was kind of like a pre-Mass Effect. <laughs> um, it, you, you had all these weapons that you, you know, were able not, to uh, Yeah, but also, uh, sort of aspects of Mass Effect, because yeah. it, it didn't have about, it wasn't about player choice and everything. No, no. Mass Effect of the universe, but yeah. yeah. But but I love the world. I That's love, more of a good one. I love the world, I love the music, I love how you know, everything kind of um, clicked together. Uh, throughout the game, just exploring like all the levels that you could go to, and then finding all like the hidden hidden things throughout the uh, throughout the game. But it's I don't think it did so well. I mean, no, I, I, I played it, it somewhat. I rented the game, but I played it. This is you know I was still young at that point, and I had trouble playing it. Maybe it's just the game was designed, and I just couldn't find a way out. Because I remember back in those days, I don't know if they could still do it today. I mean. I, I don't know where you'd find it just for it's Gemini anyway. Oh, yeah, I don't know. So, probably a pretty rare game to find. Yeah, especially more so than you can even get a remake like that. Uh, Conquer Live Reloaded, but... Yeah. 